and Nara. Upset the debts that I'm owing. This is a joke. This must be a joke. You can't do that now. I go do this kind of thing for me. I go do. I tell you, send my husband money. What do you want me to tell my husband? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. If not, just stop. I don't want you to hear this kind of thing. No, if you not do this, this is not a begging matter. So, what do you want me to tell my husband? My husband keep five million for my aunt. Say, make her keep her for him. I come borrow my friend. Say, I want to say, you be good, you be good person. And you can't do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost everything. I have sold everything in my house just to pay those that are owing money. I like it. I beg. Hey, I want to sell my TV and my fan. I need money, like right now, urgently. Any amount, I can, any amount. Just come carry them, please. They come, they come, they come. And today, they had to lay me off work. They give me a sack letter. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Why is all this happening to me? And I have a son. Where am I going to get money to raise him? What am I going to do? Am I just going to die in this house with my son? What am I going to do? Who is going to help me because I need help? I have lost everything. Why are you crying? Why would I cry? Tell me why would I cry? Eh? Is my life not sad enough? Have I not lost everything? I've been laid off work. My husband is nowhere to be found. I don't want you. I don't want you. Why you say I would you? Why you say I would you? I don't want you. 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 I don't want you.
Do you remember the story of Job? Hey, what about the story of Job? Job lost everything. His children, his businesses, cattle, and even his wife asked him to curse God and die. But guess what? The latter was better than the former because he waited. This is your waiting period. Wait it out. Stay faithful. God indeed knows about it. Stay faithful. That's true. This is my job moment. And God knows about it, so... I'm going to wait. This is my waiting period. I will wait. Finally called me. After so long since we had our last conversation. Holy Spirit, you are the one who left me. You just suddenly stopped speaking. No. I never left you. I'm the one who told you that I would never leave you or forsake you. I never left you. I've always been here. It was you who ignored me. But I'm always here. Holy Spirit. Just take a look around you. Everywhere is empty. My life is empty. You have touched my business. You have touched my marriage. You have touched my finances. But one thing I would never understand is you touching an innocent child. My son. If you're going to touch anything, touch me. I leave my son out of it. Why? Mommy, why are you? Joseph! 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 Yeah! I'm finished. I'm looking for Joseph. Please help me. I've checked everywhere. I can't find him. Please help me. Joseph. Hello, Mama Jean. Please help. Is Joseph with you? Yeah! I'm finished. I'm finished. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. What exactly are you saying? And what's it with your son? What happened to your son? Tell me. What happened? You told me to keep praying. Keep praying. This is your job moment. This is your testing phase. The phase where God gets to see if you are going to hold fast to the faith. Haven't I done everything? Am I not standing? I have prayed. I have fasted. I have studied the Bible like a normal Christian should do. Let's even say even more. What else do you want from me? Why? I do not recall having any conversation like that with you. I told you to wait and that God was testing you now. That wasn't me. I can't recall telling you that 
this is your waiting moment and that God is testing you. <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> okay. Holy Spirit, if that wasn't you, tell me who then it is. Just tell me. Well, I should ask you, Jane. I should ask you. Because I've told you to test every spirit. This is your meeting period. Wait it out. Stay faithful. God indeed knows about it. Stay faithful. You said you have lost your job, you've lost your marriage, and you recently lost your son. So how do you know, or why do you feel that God is the one behind all of this? Who then? What? My question is, what makes you feel, or how do you know that what you are going through is something that God wants you to endure through or wait through? How do you know that? You see, you can't answer that question because you do not understand the concept of season. What has season got to do with what is going on? Tell me, what has season got to do with what is going on? Is it, is it dry season or rainy season? What has rainy season got to do with what is going on? Just tell me what rainy season has to do with the pain that I am feeling. Listen to me. There are seasons in every man's life. And every season comes with its unique happiness. And the way you respond to the happenings in a season is dependent on your understanding of the purpose of that season. When you respond wrongly, to the happenings in a season, you lose the purpose and the significance of that season in your life. You know my word says that my people are destroyed because of ignorance, because of lack of knowledge. That's what it means. They do not know the season they are in. Many do not even care to know. Those who know that there are seasons do not even know that what particular season they are in. And because of that lack of knowledge, they make wrong decisions. They take wrong steps in that season and defeat the purpose of the season. So Satan takes advantage of that ignorance to bring things their way that will lead them astray. You see that? That's what is happening with you. So let me ask you, what season are you in? Well, Considering all, all, all the pain, all, all, the, all the torture and the torment that I have been through. What, what other indication will it be than, than my waiting season? Because if, it, if, I'm, if I can be going through all this pain, it has to be waiting season. What other season? That's just you guessing. And you cannot guess your season. You're just guessing. And you see, you are judging a season by the happenings in the season. That's not what to do. If you want to understand a season and the purpose of that season, you ask me. I am the one who designs times and seasons of men's life. And I align every season with my purpose for their lives. So you cannot understand the season until you ask me. And you cannot respond rightly to the happenings in the season until you understand the season. So, so what is in our mind? I'm glad you're asking. So this season is your season of abundance. This is the season where you reap the harvest of those things that you have sown in the past. <laughs> this is that season. He said my, my season of abundance. Season of abundance. This season where I lose my job. This season where I go bankrupt. This season. When my husband gets to divorce me without even facing me himself. The pain and my child going missing, you call that abundance. I must be a joke to God. I just knew it. I must be a joke. Listen to me. All that you are going through are simply distractions. Because you see, when I speak a word over your season, 
the first things that you will witness or that you will experience are mostly the opposite of what I have said. Because Satan is trying to set you up to disbelieve what I have said. Because he knows once you believe, it becomes your reality. So he orchestrates happenings around your life that looks contrary to the word I have spoken. But only those who know me and know my word can stand by it and walk through the season. You see those things happening in your life? They are distractions. Satan himself knows that this is your season of abundance. And God is not asking you to wait through all of that. This is your waiting period. Wait it out. No, Satan is taking you for a ride. You fight him. And you fight him now. You don't wait. Because your season is, the time is going. So when you see that happen, you fight to take back your season. Because this is your season of abundance. So this is my season of abundance. Satan, you have been tricking me. You have been making me wait, wait in vain all this while. Ah, you are a liar. I am taking back everything that you stole from me. You will restore back my child, my husband, my finances, and everything that I stole. In, in, in the name of Jesus. You are getting your hands off my position right now. I am not going to wait in vain. Satan, get your hands off my life. Get your hands off my marriage. Get your life off my child. Get your life off my business. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. I take possession of my possessions. Let the Lord. Let the Lord. Let the Lord.
Anar.